seal it all the way around a little nook and cranny so I don't want it I want to keep all the air directed in here sucking what's in this cavern right here best that it can possibly be welcome to the shack I'm ready. this video is the fourth and final video of the Frankenstein or like Angry Bunny would call it the Frankensaw build tearing it apart getting it to work making the zero clearance now this video is trying to fabricate some type of dust collection for this 55 plus year old table saw enough said let's get to it now as you see this is completely open it's got a plate down here that's angled so all the dust sawdust would just slide down here it was no dust collection whatsoever now if you look down here let me take this off now hopefully you can see down in here this is all open there's nothing down in here my thought process I spent some time at the store today let me get down underneath here so you can make it any easier so what I'm thinking this opening right here if I could somehow cover this with something with an outlet I can hook my shop vac to hopefully that would cause enough draft down here sucking the sawdust if I could get this eliminated down to 75 percent I'd be very very happy spending some time at the store I came across I think a solution we'll see how it ends up working out now this is the old tabletop my thinking process is I got to cover this up have some some type of event I wanted to have something flat some type of metal sheet metal or something make something that would cover this and then possibly put like an inlet or an outlet here to hook up my hose to and I saw this this is actually for the roof for a vent so I'm looking at this I'm thinking that might work and of course this is like a 12 by 12 square piece of metal sheet metal with with this connected to it and what I did basically I just laid it on here cut the ends folded it over fold this end down as you see here I, I pounded the edges over and I cut this off a little bit and folded that down so that's all enclosed there this side isn't square it kind of slopes off so I just cover that over and like on the end I could just either use some type of duct tape or put some silicone thing, thing over here just kind of cover that up so there's no uh, uh, vacuum leak put some seal around or something but I think that's at least the idea I'm going at let me give you a little bit better view and that's off the old table saw top there see it's just this was all laid out flat both sides big square like I said 12 by 12 piece with this cone on it since the width where the blade sits in is two inches is wide is smaller than this as wide as this cone is that's where I chose to bend the metal down cut the ends bent it in and then bent that down and cut it to length to fit in there this side cut it off goes down covers it so basically drill into this side maybe a couple of screws on this side a couple of screws on this side take this off tap the metal but they tap that way I put some screws into it to hold it now I'll keep it from moving then any places I, I leak I just fill in the ends with silicone put some duct tape around it to seal it good and you see that's how the plastic fits in there once I get it set where I want see it just moves I will go inside I may put like one screw in the side just so it doesn't move get it down where it looks good in there seal it with some silicone see down in there that way there's no chance of, of sawdust getting in between the pipe and the cone so this keeps everything channeled to going into the vacuum so that's my thinking out of the box some way I could make my own dust collection for a 60 year old table saw just a quick view of this I don't know if you both see it but this is how 
that's going to fit on there. You like that. So I said I got to get it to where it fits up there properly, everything's snug. And then, then this will be my dust collection and hopefully it'll work. So I don't know if you can see that too good, but to give you an idea, see it's not connected to the side yet, but you can see the opening for the draft is right below the blade right there, almost dead center down. I, I'm, I'm really hoping this is going to work out well. Thought I'd give a quick little update on my attempt. <laughs> it ain't working too good. Originally I had it like this and I had it bent so it would kind of go like this over it and stay center. And I just put duct tape as you see. I duct taped it to the side just to test it and it seemed to work pretty good but of course it's not sealed so it's not having full suction. Unfortunately when I went to raise it, it hit. This has a pin like this and it goes to the front. I crank the handle, this spins which pulls it forward to raise and lower the blade. There's not much clearance right here so I've already checked it. As long as this lays flat, it'll, it'll have room for clearance. But because I had an offset to try to center this, it hit it and did that bent it. So I bought another one. I'm going to try this again. I have this mounted to the side of my table saw on the last wing. And it's going to work out nice because this is metal. So I can bend this down, tap a little bit, and get a nice bend out of it. Basically, I'm just going to take this, bend it over, just help that bend over a little bit more. Now I went and checked it out. This is my line. I'm going to just take some shears I'm going to cut that off real quick and this side will be done then I can start folding the other sides in and getting it to where it should fit dust collection modification <laughs> because I have to offset it that's the width of where the saw blade goes into so I have all this extra so what I'm going to do I'm going to block it off I'm making this little plate to fit in here a little more trimming here and there so it fits in good. This will all be bent over, but this is going to block it. So when I bend this over, I have to bend a little bit, do whatever to get it to mount to the to mount underneath there. But this is going to restrict the airflow to just this part right here. This will be blocked. And I'm going to put caulking in here. Put caulking all in here. Put this down. Put some metal screws in here but I got a little bit more shave off this so it's right it fits in there good and that's what's going to be like mounted in there it's going to be like a little deflector so hopefully like I said the much the more I can restrict loss of air flow and keep it directed to right where I need it the better off I'm going to be but that's what it's looking like so far so I got a little bit more shaving then I'm going to cut here and cut here and bend this over now, this is coming quite difficult. The adjusting rod that runs right here, I know you can't see it on there. It's right in the way where I need to drill and tap, so I got it drilled the best that I could. Tap won't even fit in there, so I'm going to have to use a little wrench and do it by hand because that's all room I have in there, little by little. But when I get this side done, I can tilt this back to 90 and I have all room to work on the other side. Everything is drilled and tapped. So what I'm going to do, I got caulking on this. I'm going to insert this. Put the screws in. And then I'm going to put caulking around this just to make sure it's sealed. Then I have to put caulking on the edges here and here put it up in there when it's in there then I'm gonna go around the top seal and around the sides and everything and caulk it 
and it'll be done. But before I do that, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna clean the tools off the top. And again, I'm gonna make a couple of cuts to see how much sawdust is down here. Get this up in there, seal it. I'm gonna make a couple more cuts and I'm gonna see just how much sawdust is at the bottom. Got all my tools cleared off and I'm just going to run a two by four through and cut like five cuts just to see what kind of sawdust we have at the bottom here. See down on the floor behind it here, I got sawdust all over through here. A little, somewhat in there, and all in the top up here. So I'm going to clean all this up, and we'll get the duck in on there, and we'll hook up to the shot back. And I'm going to get five more cuts just to see, at least if I can eliminate some of that, I'll be happy. I got the ducking all screwed on. All caulking around and I'm finishing some of the caulking around the edges here and I'm actually going to put some duct tape from here up and up and over kind of seal the ends. The hardest one's going to be in the front where I have to go underneath here or climb inside this cabin again and try to get that and tape it up. I'm going to let it set for about 20 minutes just for the caulking to harden up a little bit. Almost ready to hook my shop vac to it run a couple of test cuts and just see how well it does. Now I have a two inch to inch and a half downsizer and actually that will fit into the outlet and the inch and a half I can just slide my hose into there fits right in so basically I go underneath here I just slide up in there and that's my dust collection so I'm actually ready. Back in the plug in. There is absolutely nothing. That is actually collecting, I would say, 90 plus percent. Even on top, a little bit here. Nothing like there was before. But there's literally nothing inside here. See? There's absolutely nothing in there. Dang! It did better than I thought it would. It is worth all the stinking hassle if it works that good. <laughs> I, I'm really pleased. Um, oh Lord, it's almost 10 o'clock at night. I gotta go to bed. This, wow. I have to say it was a success. Nothing's blowing anywhere out. I got very little. I got at least, I'd say probably 50 to 75% less on top. I got 90% less below. So that is major. Oh, I got to get all these tools put away and kind of get organized. I have things I got to do. I think now I am done. Table saw is done. It is what it is. I got my zero clearance plates. I got extra ones. I'm dropping everything. I'm tired and I ache. <laughs> this has been a week and a half in, in the works. A little bit every night. A little bit on the weekends. Be blessed. Get out to take back your shack. Build something for a friend. Always build it for family, but most importantly, just build it for your sanity. I'm so happy. <laughs> you can't believe how happy I am. This is great. Oh, I think I'm just clean up tomorrow. I am tired. Thanks again. We'll see you next video.